Good morning. I'm Olga. We're speaking at Newport Beach for the Orange County Marathon. The runners are off, and we do have some road closures to tell you about. That's coming up. We're driving through Orange County today. Might have a little trouble getting around. It's the ninth running of the OC Marathon, which means some road closures in Newport Beach and Costa Mesa. And KTLA's Olga Spina is live at the starting line in Newport Beach. Hey, Olga. Hi, Lynette. Yes, the half marathon is actually starting right now. It started at 6.15. They're going in phases, so more runners still here to come. But as you can imagine, 18,000 runners this year and thousands more spectators coming out to support their friends, their family. So some road closures we definitely want to let you know about. So East Coast Highway is going to be shut down. A portion of that, that's PCH, Newport Boulevard, Red Hill Avenue. The race started at 5 a.m. So, so did those closures, and you can expect delays happening until 3 o'clock today. Take a look at where that marathon is happening. It's going through several cities, Newport Beach, Costa Mesa, Irvine, Santa Ana. This is uh, considered one of the best courses in the country because of its diverse terrain and majestic ocean views. And the runners here, this is still another phase of the half marathon. More runners uh, still to come. And and we have with us here the race director, Gary Kutcher. And I'm sure you would agree that uh, this is one of the best races in the country because of its great location. You're traveling right by the ocean, beautiful views, and great weather for it as well. Kind of cool today, so good for runners. It's perfect running weather. The uh, the field is the biggest we've had, uh, 18,200 with our kids involved. It's in Newport Beach. It starts a great place, and they go down through Coast Highway and, and Corona Del Mar. Uh, then they... Uh, they make their way through four different cities all together and finally uh, end up at the OC Fair uh, in Costa Mesa. It's a great finish line. We have a festival there, uh, two bands. It's, it's just a great day. And you had the kids race yesterday. What was that like? The kids race, we had 4,100 kids from 65 different schools in Orange County. And these kids, uh, they, they ran in heats of 500. They get their marathon medal. They, they run their, their 25 miles in their schools. They finish their, their final mile yesterday. And it's, it's one of the most exciting days you can ever be at. They get their running, and so do these people out here, out bright and early doing the half marathon. So the half marathon for the quickest runners, that should be over by about 7.20ish. So for our 7.30 hour, we're gonna try to check in with the winner of that half marathon. People out here up bright and early. <laughs> That's the latest out here from Newport Beach. Back to you guys. Uh, very nice. Do you mind tilting the camera up so we can see? It looks like it's a little, is it a little hazy, a little overcast? It's a little overcast, yeah. but for runners, it's yeah, uh, perfect weather if you wanna take a look up there. So really nice weather out here. Not too cool, but just enough for, for the runners to get out here and get a good nice. run in. Okay, so she's talking about runners in third person. So, Olga, you're not running, right? <laughs> you know, I've got the attire, at least half of it. <laughs> at least she's dressed for I'm it. I'm going to run over to Costa right? Mesa and to the finish line. Very I got nice. It. Okay, good job. It's good Thank to have you. those kind of conditions when you're starting the running. Here's we take a look it's at a our good drive. It is a Sunday good morning. drive. But if you're going through Orange County today, you might see uh, some closures. You might see a little bit of trouble because it is the ninth running of the OC Marathon. Yes, so let's check in with Olga right now. How are we doing, Olga? Marathon actually just ended here, and this is at the OC Fair and Event Center in Costa Mesa. Started over in Newport, and we do have with us the winner of that marathon. First, though, we do want to show you those road closures because there are 18,000 runners this year and thousands of spectators, so lots of people coming out here to enjoy the event. Some of the road closures you need to be aware of: East Coast Highway, that's along PCH, Newport Boulevard, Red Hill Avenue. The race started at 5 a.m. for the full marathon. The half marathon started at 6:15 and we are told that you can expect delays until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. But again, the half marathon winner just came through at a time of 1.06. We have with us Jimmy Grabo. And Jimmy, this has to be so great for you because you are a Long Beach local. How nice is it to run here so close to home with friends and family being able to watch you? It's it's awesome. Uh, like, it's the crowd's really into it. Uh, it was nice that my family got to come down. Hi, Mom. Uh, all that good stuff. So, um... I love it down here, always perfect weather, everybody's really happy, like, it's Southern California's like pre-marathon and half marathon, so it's, it's great. And you've been running for over 10 years, done lots of courses, uh, tell me what's so special about this course? 
This course is really beautiful. Um, There's got some nice rolling hills. You're running along PCH and Back Bay and everything like that. Um, and like the crowd, the crowd, the people make this course. Uh, everybody's out there cheering you along, and that was always really nice. So thank you, Huntington Beach, OC, for like cheering us all on out there because it was definitely like the crowd makes the course. And you seem pretty calm and collected. You've caught your breath. You came at a time of 106. How do you feel? Feel good. Like let's go to Disneyland. <laughs> so. Feels good. Well, right? congratulations. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Great. Yeah. And uh, the ladies champ came in at a time about 1.15. So more runners still to come in. And in the 8.30 hour, we're going to talk to the winner of the full marathon. So nobody's yeah. come in for that quite yet. It's only been about eh, about an hour and a half since that started. I so love we'll it. check between, back in with you then. Between uh, Olga and him, 0% body fat. So it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> And good for him. So He's funny. ready to go Thanks. to Disneyland. Yeah. Like, who does a marathon and then is ready to go to Disneyland? And That's he loves awesome. the OC. That's good Lots stuff. Lots of energy. Thanks, right. Olga. Good Appreciate deal. it. Good stuff. In Orange well, County. <laughs> Great day out here in Costa Mesa. Runners crossing the finish line here at the Orange County Marathon. We are checking in in a couple minutes. And okay, well, if you're driving through Orange County today, uh, you might have a little bit of trouble getting around, but it's a fun, fun day there. Eighth uh, annual running of the OC Marathon, some road closures and all the rest of it. Hopefully some nice weather for it. Let's check in with Olga Spina. How are, oh, it looks like things are getting brighter and brighter. Hey, Olga. Yeah, things are getting brighter and things are getting uh, loud out here. It's exciting. The marathon, we do have the winner of the full marathon here with us right now. But as you mentioned, some road closures that you do need to know about because there are thousands of people out here. So take a look. Some of the road closures are PCH, East Coast Highway, Newport Boulevard, Red Hill Avenue. And you can expect delays if you're traveling through the area until about 3 o'clock today. So back out here live, you can see people still crossing the finish line and this is going to be going on all day but the fastest man of all today we've got him here with us his name is peter omey he is from kenya and he has ran many many marathons and peter you say this is actually your favorite of them all yes and uh, this is my favorite marathon yeah i like this marathon more than all of the marathons I, I... why is that because the organization is good and I signed it with the team check. I used to run, this is my club it's from this town, so I used to like to run this race. Every and what are the views like? Because you're traveling next to the ocean in such beautiful areas out here in Orange County. Yes, this is a very beautiful town. I, I tell you, I, I never go any town like this one. It's, 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 it's great. And also you're saying that, well, you've ran this for so many years, but this race, you were actually alone. You were the only one that was up in the lead. You were way ahead of your competition. Yes, and from the studying, I learned only me, nobody was pushing with me. I tried to call some guys to come with me. They are very tired, so I say, it is better I go. It is hard to run alone for a, for a marathon. So after all these miles you've been running, what's next? What do you do today to relax, or do you even relax? I, anyway, I relax. That's why I run in poor time, because uh, to run you around a marathon is it's not hard. To, it's, it's hard to run uh, under 220. Do you go home and take a nap now? Yes, I go to my hotel, I take a nap, so I, I eat well, I sleep, so I relax. Rest well. You definitely deserve it. Congratulations, oh, Peter. Thank you. So people are going to keep crossing the finish line uh, for the rest of the morning and probably into the early afternoon today. People in very good shape out here. And again, those road closures we mentioned, if you're traveling through the area, that's going to be going on until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Back to you guys. Olga, thank you. Appreciate it. Looks good. It's getting brighter and brighter and people are still finishing. It's a good thing. That's right. And speaking of bright.